My dad grew up with a construction background and I watched him do construction projects various as I was growing up and so I kind of always took an interest to it. Um, when I got out of the military I wanted to find a way to continue you know to be able to help the community and that sort of thing and so what I found was that there was a lot of contractor dishonesty out there and we're not those guys so uh, I wanted to come in and kind of sort of change the game as, as, as it were and so uh, I found a, a niche in roofing and construction because I grew up that way and uh, it enabled me to help continue and to help the community and so I, I really grew into a love for it. On a commercial building when somebody when somebody calls us and says hey we have a problem generally they have a big problem. They don't call us and be like hey the drop grid's leaking in the bathroom. It is leaking everywhere 90% uh, of the time when we get to a commercial building. So we go in, uh, we'll take a project manager, we'll get it assessed. Uh, the assessment you know takes a day or so and again, we just come up with options for the customer. So if you'll look behind us, um, we have a complete roof redo of this, of this commercial building. We'll have one or two crews out here, depending on the size of the job. Uh, logistics is huge with something like this. Uh, if you get the logistics wrong, you can end up costing yourself and the customer a lot of money. We're not interested in doing that. So logistics, we'll come out here, get the inspection done. We will get uh, project managers on site. We'll get the head of labor on site. Uh, we'll get the permits pulled, obviously. A uh, building like this, if it looks like it's going to rain outside, we'll piecemeal the job. That's residential and commercial. We're, we'll never leave your property exposed no matter what. Um, for something like this, obviously it's a three-story building. We want to minimize risk to our workers and your building, so we roof load everything. The supplier will show up with a crane truck, just like they did here yesterday, and they, are, they will load it directly from the truck to the top of the building. Residential roofing. Uh, we have lift trucks on either side. The lift trucks, we have to be careful about driveways because it's soft here in Houston. We're getting down toward the coast. Um, and a lot of the stuff we will just manually carry onto the roof. It's just safer. We have 15 crews throughout the Houston area. We service everything from Conroe to uh, about Pearland, somewhere in that area. But as far as our crews, we try to keep them busy. Uh, one thing that's about our crews is everybody that works for us is legal and everybody that works for us is drug tested at least twice a year and they, they do it randomly. I'm not going to send anybody to your house that I wouldn't want at my house. If we're putting a roof on something like this, you know, we can, we can get it done in less than a week. Uh, if we're doing something, you know, for roofing the Astrodome, you know, it's going to be a couple of weeks for sure. So uh, it just really depends on the size of the project and what we're putting up there. This one we're putting a TPO up there. It's a membrane roof hands down the best roof for a commercial building um, like this and so we're glad that they went with this kind of stuff because TPO you don't have to worry about. Membrane roofing you put it up there right it's mechanically adhered 15 years you don't have to worry about it you know if there's ever a problem obviously you know we want people to call us but knock on a knock on TPO we haven't had a problem so there is not a roofing product out there that we will not put on I will make sure uh, there's some things that we that we prefer to put on uh, on top of other stuff. We try not to put modified bitumen back on just because, you know, that's 80s and 90s roofing. There's better stuff out there for cheaper. Actually, nowadays it'll hold a warranty better and it's a better product that we can provide for our customer. We have on top of the manufacturer's warranty, depending on what manufacturer, what we put up there, we have a five-year workmanship warranty. So for five years, if something happens out at your property, you know, that, that is something that we did, we want you to call us and you know we'll come back out there man i like going out and into the community and talking to people uh, my project managers the same way uh, we're very careful about who we hire as project managers because we want them to be in the mold of, of, of what we want it to be you know we don't want to be xyz roofing company out there there's a thousand roofing companies out here we don't want to be those guys we want to be the guys that you call that you don't have to worry about you know if there's a problem we'll be there customer service is paramount there's once a year we call our customers just to make sure that everything's good with their roof is customer service call. Again, customer service is paramount with our company. We try to basically make friends with our customers because you know we want us to call them back. Um, we want to maintain a, a good working relationship with the customers even if we put one roof on their house. You know, if they move to another house or they have somebody else, their kids or somebody, we want to be able to take care of them. We're a, we're a family owned and operated company and that's how we deal.